It's your favorite YouTube dealer. I appreciate you guys for stopping in. We got some new stuff from Chinchilla. I'm excited for this. It's been a minute since we checked something out from her, but she is absolutely amazing. And I've got to thank Ren because I probably wouldn't know who she was without him. And just recently he dropped that halftime remake for the Nas song and unbelievable. I did a reaction to that if you guys missed it. But right now we got some Chinchilla, MF Diamond. I'm assuming that stands for mother, you know, so let's get into this and uh, let's see what it's all about. Is this a real story? Like, obviously, this is her music video, but I'm just curious if there's, like, a real story behind it and they reconstructed, you know, kind of, like, what they believe the scene would look like. Is this is this possible? Someone let me know. I'm not up on all the shit that happens in Britain. I'm on here on my own on a coast that I've never been to before. I'm alone, I don't know where I am, let alone where we stand, where we are. And we're ruled by the time zone drama, staying up till it's your tomorrow. Till then I'll reread your text, the crumbs that you left all over with the sofa. Say something so I don't spiral, chinchilla, you're not a child. Say something so I don't spiral. I my life like a master. I like this kind of like whispery, breathy kind of singing. It sounds dope with her voice, but I also like it to me, like little things add so much so when she like gets into this first line or two and then she does like the ah like that I, I definitely I, I sounded more like a porno she didn't sound like that but you you know what i'm talking about right you, you'll hear it in a second I've never been to before i'm alone i don't know where i am let alone where we Coming stand up. where we are and we're ruled by the time zone drama staying up till it's your tomorrow there we go i like that that you left all over with the say something so i don't spiral chinchilla you're not a child say something so i don't spiral i run my life like a master but when i love a disaster say something so i don't spiral For a lover that silent treats me to death. Uh, uh, I'm a victim of my own humiliation. I'm addicted to stress. Uh, uh, can't believe that I get so needy. All the mate that they take or leave me. But the torture keeps me busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say something so I don't spiral. Change your life, you're not a child. Say something so I don't spiral. This is a whole vibe. She says she's addicted to stress with one of the bars, and I, I feel like I feel that in my soul. I'm not addicted to it, but it's, it's, it's an odd, listen, it's a long story, but, you know, none of us want to deal with stress. None of us want to go through shit like that, but sometimes you find that you end up in the similar position over and over and over, or you don't remove somebody from your life that's causing you stress, and it's almost like you must be addicted to it because you just keep going back to that shit. And I don't even mean, like, relationship-wise. I just mean in general, like, some people in my life, friends, stuff. at times there are people that, that come into your life and you just, listen, I ain't gonna get into it. It's a long story. <laughs> Yo, I rock with her, though. This is dope. As far as the song goes, I'm liking it so far. I like the vibe of it. The beat is really, really dope. The way that she's going over it, like her voice and the beat mesh very, very well together. The hook, I really like the breathy kind of like, like that shit draws me in. Apparently, she got together with grandma and her friends to do this, <laughs> this diamond heist, though.
Yo, I like it's a little shit like that. I like the footwork. That's fire. <laughs> Let's get it. Fucking diamond. She always got some fire outfit on. Like she's very unique in the clothes that she chooses for her videos and stuff. I like the hat, the whole like the whole look is dope. Yeah, she's she's definitely a talent. And I don't know how much she att attention she was getting before. So I'm not gonna make it sound like yo, Ren really started to put her on because she was probably doing her thing. But obviously, Ren getting boosted and getting so much love and stuff from his one song, Hi Ren, and then kind of just snowballing it from there has obviously brought more eyes to a lot of the people that he's collaborated with, which are extremely talented in their own right. Like, my man has a really good taste. Everybody that he's collaborated with has been, like, top tier as far as, like, what they bring to the table, and Chinchilla is definitely one of them. Obviously, I, like I said in the beginning, found her through Ren, and very, very happy that I did because I think that she's, uh, she's a really unique talent in the sense that, like, amazing voice, sounds very much herself, makes music very much that stands out. Like it's not, it doesn't mix in with a lot of the other shit that you hear out nowadays. And I like her style and just the way that she kind of approaches her music videos visually. Like it's, it also stands out and it's very different. And uh, yeah, I just hope that she continues to to do numbers and, and, and do very, very well with it. I wouldn't mind seeing a Ren collaboration again. I ain't going to lie to you because I think that they body some shit together, you know, even if they don't you know, get back to just like, let's just chill out on the street real quick and just, just bop real fast. I'm here for it. But comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought about this. Fill me in on if this is obviously just straight up music video or if there really was some kind of a diamond heist thing or whatever that they just utilized as like a, hey, this is the footage from it. You know, we're going to reenact it kind of thing. So I'm curious, but take it easy. Stay safe. I'll catch you in the next one, homies.